Kia ora, I'm Mary Jo, Kiwi Bank Economist. In the Reserve Bank's final meeting for the year, it hiked the cash rate by 25 basis points, taking it to 0.75% and signalled many more rate hikes to come. In the current economic environment, emergency settings of such low interest rates are just no longer needed. In fact, the new OCR track shows that for the first time in a very long time, the Reserve Bank may need to take the official cash rate beyond neutral and toward 2.6% in order to contain the economy, especially the housing market. Uh, over the next two years, at least another seven hikes have been priced in. Now, the Reserve Bank's new set of forecasts do indeed confirm the need to continue removing monetary policy stimulus from the economy. Despite the Delta disruption, the New Zealand economy is holding up remarkably well. The latest lockdown is expected to result in a much smaller contraction in economic activity than last year's lockdown, and the labour market is expected to tighten even further, with the unemployment rate hitting a new record low of 3.2%. Inflation forecasts were also upwardly revised. The peak in inflation was lifted higher to just under 6%, uh, propped up by ongoing global inflation drivers, as well as strong local demand. Clearly from the Reserve Bank's new set of forecasts, the New Zealand economy is running hot. And when considering its inflation and employment mandates, there's every need to continue lifting interest rates. However, the pace at which the Reserve Bank does this does matter. While there are upside risks to both inflation and employment, there are also downside risks to consider. Firstly, the recent discovery and outbreak of the new COVID variant Omicron is a timely reminder that the pandemic is not yet over. As we adapt to living with COVID in our community, this transition could weigh on household and business confidence and therefore activity. Secondly, a rising interest rate environment does challenge the resilience of household consumption and business investment, both of which have been key sources of economic momentum. We know that a substantial amount of mortgages are due to roll over soon, so there's greater sensitivity around rising mortgage rates today. So given all these risks, a more measured approach moving in 25 basis point increments is appropriate for now. That's it from me this week. Talk to you in the next one.